Oh, there you two are. You gave us a bit of a fright. Are you alright? Yeah, we're fine. Don't worry. Just took a little field trip out somewhere. You know how it is. Didn't mean to worry you. Yes, yes, that's what I thought. Oh, excuse me. Have we met? Do I know you? You did. Once. I'm sorry. I don't understand. Oh, forgive me. I'm Dr. Gaster. Hmm? As I thought. He's our dad. Kind of. In, in, in a definitely our dad kind of way. Oh, you finally found him. Where were you? Your sons were looking for you. Uh, oh, uh, he got lost. We only just found him right now. Yeah, I guess something happened and we lost our memories, so we didn't remember where he was. Do you remember everything now? Uh, sure. Let's go with that. Did you find anyone else wherever you were? No, there was no one else. Only me. Ah, I'm sorry to hear that. But at least you're still here. Your children missed you very much, you know. Yes, so they've told me. Where were you, anyway? It's difficult to explain. Does this have something to do with this room, perhaps? I do not recall it being here before. Oh, hey, now that you mention it. Ah. Huh. The little human child was listening to the wall, although I could not hear anything myself. This is all very strange. The what? Oh, that's right, you must not have met. Child, where are you? Come on out now. Uh, you seem kind of... okay with them being here, considering. I... told them to come to me by the barrier when they were... ready. Which I must admit, I hope they are not. Not just yet. Are you? Hmm. Yes, we have lots of time left, don't we? Enough to meet Sans and Papyrus and their father. Isn't that wonderful? Oh, we actually met before! Oh, did you? Yeah, we became really good best friends. They're a great admirer of my puzzle skills and fine cooking and general excellence and charm. Yeah, they seem like a good kid. It's you. So it was you. Hmm. What are you? Uh, they're a human? Were you not listening? A human? Yes, it seems so. How many times did you make us do this until you got the result that you wanted? <sighs> what do you mean, Dr. Gaster? Don't worry about it. He's been lost for so long, he's a bit out of it. Asks weird questions sometimes, you know how it is. Hmm... I suppose... There you are! Yeah. You bonehead! Uh, uh, Where'd you run off to? You really freaked us out! Uh, hi! Uh, Dine, you're crushing my ribs! The kid must have told you we were gone, huh? Yeah, they called about you guys disappearing. So what was that about? They sounded kind of worried about you. Uh, it was nothing. No big deal. Right, kid? Mm -hmm. Well, here's the phone back. You better leave me a message next time. Who's this nerd? He's our dad. He got lost somewhere weird and we just found him. Your dad? Huh. Well, I'm Undyne, Captain of the Royal Guard. Yes, hello. I'm Dr. Gaster. It's nice to meet you. It's cool to meet you too, I guess. Um, him being lost wouldn't have anything to do with this weird room, would it? Uh, let's go with no. Where'd this room come from, then? This definitely wasn't here before. Who knows? Some things are just mysteries, I guess. No real point to worrying about it, huh? I guess? Weird, though. I should ask Alphys about it. Maybe she had a camera or something in this hallway. Alphys? Yeah, Dr. Alphys, the Royal Scientist. Do you know her? Yes. So, she's the Royal Scientist now? I suppose that makes sense. That's a lot of responsibility, however. How must she be handling it? I should talk to her. Well, I'm gonna be heading her way anyway. 
You can tag along if you want. Oh, us too! Us too! Mm, I don't think your brother wants to do that. Sans? <sighs> eh, you got me. I'm not really feeling it, to be honest. Got a lot on my mind. Sans? No, it's alright. I'm sure there are things you two want to discuss amongst yourselves about all this. I can do this by myself. But how are we going to know you didn't, uh, get lost again? Oh, I know. We can call you on our cell phone. You have a cell phone, right? Everyone does. Greater Dog doesn't. Almost everyone does. Ooh, Demi doesn't. Quiet, Sans! No, I'm afraid I do not anymore. Oh, don't worry. Alvis has a ton. We can get one from her. Oh, that's a great idea! Sounds good to me. Great! Let's go! I'm pumped to figure out what's going on here! Well, it seems like you have this under control. I should be getting back to my flowers. I'll see you both again later, perhaps. Little one, do you want to? Mm. Ah, good. We still have time. I hope you're in no hurry. I will see you all later. Okay, see you, Asgore! Uh, Undyne's waiting for you, pal. Just a moment. Here. Huh? Huh? Uh, are you giving us your arm? I'll need tools and materials to make what I have in mind, as well as time. This will work for now. What, uh, do you have in mind? Do you mind? Or do you want to continue eavesdropping on us? Are we entitled to any privacy at all? Hey, kid. Why don't you wait for Sigurobis, huh? Uh, we just gotta talk about something. No big deal. Yes, we'll be done before you know it. Don't worry. Mm. <sighs> uh, do you know something about that kid? We can talk about that later when there's more time. And more privacy. As I was saying, I always know where you two are. It seems only fair that you should know where I am in return. I'm physically incapable of a matching plate, however, so I'm considering something more along the lines of a bracelet, or an anklet. Although, it is possible that I could create an apparatus that could hold my foot in position while I- No! No more plates in anyone! Stop doing that! You're gonna put a tracking device on yourself? If I meant what I said in there, then I must be held accountable. I can already tell this is all going to be very difficult for me. I'm sure you will feel better knowing where I am. As I said, however, I will need time to create it. My arm will be temporary insurance for now. I will come back for it after I see Alphys. You sure? You wouldn't need your arm back in that empty space after all. I know you have no reason to trust me. This is all I can think of on short notice. Hmm, I guess we'll see, huh? I know you'll come back for it. I trust you. You shouldn't. I've given you no reason to. But I know you do anyway. You're very reliable that way. Thanks! I think. Kind of nostalgic, huh? I remember you breaking Papyrus' arm after he gave it to you like this. You can do the same to mine if you like. I suppose it'd only be fair. We're not doing that! I know, I know. Just saying. Hey! Are you coming or not? You better catch up with her. Yes, you're right. Once I'm finished, I'll meet you at home. Well, I guess technically it's your home now. No, now it's our home. Come on, I can't wait all day. All right, I'll see you both later. Okay, bye. Well? <sighs> I wanna go home. Okay, let's go.